On September 22, 2023, the US FDA approved novel therapy Exua, chemical name Gepirone, extended release tablets for the treatment of major depressive disorder, or MDD. Gepirone is a new chemical entity and as described by Faber Kramer, the marketer, marketer of Exua, it is the first truly novel product approved for MDD in the last 30 years. Let's discuss why Gepirone is different than other antidepressants. The information provided in this video should not be used for diagnosing or treating a health problem. Consult your healthcare provider before making any changes to your health plan. First, a little history on Gepirone. Gepirone was first developed by Bristol Myers Squibb back in 1986. It was obtained by Faber Kramer in 1993. Initial applications for Gepirone as an immediate release tablet were rejected in 2002 and 2004. After much back and forth with the FDA, uh, a new uh, formulation was uh, developed uh, for Gepirone as an extended release tablet. And after multiple studies, these extended release tablets showed uh, positive efficacy results compared to placebo, where the previous immediate release formulations could not. So Exua, Gepirone, uh, extended release tablets were finally approved in the United States in September 2023 for major depressive disorder. Also interesting to note is that Faber Kramer is currently studying Exua for generalized anxiety disorder and hypoactive sexual desire disorder. Now let's talk about why Exua is different. Exua represents a new class of antidepressant. It's the first and only approved antidepressant with a novel mechanism of action that selectively targets the serotonin 1A receptor, a key regulator of mood and emotion. Exua has been shown to effectively relieve depressive symptoms and its approved labeling does not contain warnings or adverse reactions regarding causing sexual dysfunction or weight gain versus placebo. Exua is expected to be available in pharmacies in early 2024, according to Faber Kramer. While the majority of the 15 known receptors for serotonin have been implicated in depression or depression, depressive like behavior, the serotonin 1A and 1B receptors are among the most studied. The serotonin 1A receptor is a subtype of serotonin receptors that binds to serotonin also known as 5-HT. Uh, serotonin is a neurotransmitter. Serotonin is expressed in the brain, spleen, and neonatal kidney. In the brain, it's specifically located in the hippocampus, septum, amygdala, hypothalamus, and anterenal cortex. Gepirone is a member of the azapyrone chemical class, similar to buspirone, a very old antidepressant, Buspirone is also a 5-HT1A agonist, but it is not selective, as it also has affinity to serotonin receptors 2A, 2B, 2C, 6, and 7, albeit low affinity. And buspirone also is a dopamine 2 receptor antagonist. Gepirone has a greater efficacy in activating 5-HT1A, as it is selective, and has negligible affinity for the dopamine 2 receptors. Uh, studies show there's a 30 to 50 fold lower, uh, fold lower uh, affinity towards com in comparison to buspirone. Other antidepressants such as selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors, also called SSRIs, have many adverse reactions like sexual dysfunction, weight gain, insomnia, and agitation, to name a few. Sexual dysfunction is one of the common reasons people stop taking SSRIs. Therefore, it's uh, treatment limiting and increases the risk of noncompliance. Exua uh, does not cause sexual dysfunction per study of results, and sexual dysfunction is not listed as an adverse reaction in the Exua label. Plus, weight gain was equal to placebo according to study results. For patients who stop taking antidepressant therapy due to these two adverse reactions, they could potentially benefit from taking Exua and be compliant with this medication. 
Finally, a summary on Exua. Uh, it is an extended release tablet indicated for major de depressive disorder. It's intended to be taken once daily with food. Studies show that peak plasma levels are achieved more quickly, three hours versus six hours, when Exua is taken after a high fat meal. Dosing may be increased to 72.6 milligram once daily after the recommended titration period. Special dosing considerations must be made for the elderly and those that are hepatically or venally impaired. Concomitant use of Exua with cytochrome P453A4 inhibitors would require dose adjustments as well. A strong cytochrome P453A4 inhibitor may increase Exua concentrations by up to five-fold. So please review uh, your medication list with your doctor or pharmacist. Antidepressants may increase the risk of suicidal thoughts and behavior in pediatric and young adults, adult patients taking antidepressants. This should be closely monitored. Some other warnings and precautions include QT interval uh, prolongation, serotonin syndrome, and activation of mania or hypomania. Contraindications include if you have a known hypersensitivity to gepirone or its components, uh, a previous history of prolonged QTC interval greater than 450 microseconds, milliseconds at baseline, congenital long QT syndrome, concomitant use of strong cytochrome, cytochrome P453A4 inhibitors, severe hepatic impairment, or use with an MAOI, which is a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, or within 14 days of stopping treatment with Exua. Do not use Exua within 14 days of continuing an MAOI. Exua also showed overall acceptable safety profile with no significant adverse effect on weight or blood pressure, or heart rate or liver, liver function. The most frequent adverse reactions seen in clinical trials were dizziness and nausea, which generally were mild, of short duration, and related to dose escalations and did not require discontinuation of treatment. Other common reactions include insomnia, abdominal pain, and dyspepsia. Thank you for watching this video. And remember to subscribe, like, and share. And if you have suggestions for any other videos, please do enter that into the chat. Thank you.